Well, this weekend, I, I wanted to bring in, if I may, Jimmy Hart of the Mouth of the South. He's got his own rock and wrestling connection. He also happens to have his own personal intercontinental champion, Greg the Hammer Valentine. Uh, the great one out of Seattle, Washington. What are you laughing about? You know what? It's amazing. I'm laughing at, you know, before we came in, you know, Greg gets thousands and thousands of cards and letters each and every week. And we go through a few of them, you know, and they're so stupid. Can you believe a lot of the letters said that? Oh, what are they, bills or what? No, let me tell you, man. <laughs> That's cute, okay. real cute. But let me just tell you what they're about. You know, they send things in like, you know, Greg the Hammer, he's not a real champion. Let me tell you people something. This is the greatest professional athlete in the world today, a living legend, the intercontinental heavyweight champion. He'll probably hold this belt for the rest of his life if he wants to for the rest of his life. You know, Greg Valentine, uh, on, on the lighter side. <laughs> I received a telephone call this past week from Liberace. He just has to find out who makes these lovely robes for you. How much do they cost? Yeah, well, he should find out. Cost makes no difference. You know, $5,000 is nothing for me, if you really want to know. Liberace, of course, he's got all kinds of money, but one thing he hasn't got that I have, and I have my rock and roll wrestling connection. And he don't know anything about rock and roll. Are you kidding me? See, you He's have not one of my favorites and never has been. I don't think I'm one of your favorites either. So I break down the time. So You're a for? Neither was the real Don Steele. The real. <laughs> you know, you talk about a $5,000 robe. Why is it you stiff me for a $50 breakfast in Los Angeles? <laughs> they're not that funny. Because there's a sucker born every minute, right, Greg? <laughs> I just figured that you had enough class not to say anything and just pick the tab up. After all, you're a first-class announcer. Yeah. It well, feels like I'm a first-class wrestler. Thank, thank you very much. I appreciate that. But you know why... How can I have dandruff if I don't have hair? You've got to be kidding me. You know why rock and roll is so great? Rock and Because everything that rock and roll is about is what I stand for. I, I heard you had the windows open on your limousine recently, and you know the instance <laughs> I'm talking about. You had the windows wide open, and all of a sudden, this what kind of music do you like? I, I, I didn't understand who it was. It was... <clears throat> Steppenwolf. The <laughs> Pusher Man. I had that one on there. Born to be wild. Oh, Born to be wild by Steppenwolf. All these but goodies, Steppenwolf, solid gold album. But I'll tell you about what, what no, no Cindy Lauper, right, baby? No, no Cindy Lauper, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's not rock and roll. Liberace, he would like Cindy Lauper. He, they can relate to that. Going around with earrings and their ears and all that stuff. They can definitely relate to that. 10,000 rings hanging on your fingers. I mean, who needs that? You know, who needs that? I like money in the bank. Because I've always been a rebel. A rebel coming from underneath up to the top. You understand? And that's what rock and roll is really about. Not a bunch of rich kids getting out there singing like with Rocky. Of course, he's no kid. That's what he used to be. And he doesn't sing either. <laughs> but, but Cindy Lopper. Cindy Lopper. Still controversy hanging over the head of Greg the Hammer Valentine as the Intercontinental Champion. Oh, I'm ready and I'm waiting. I said I was going to be the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time and I'm waiting. I put my name on that dotted line. You don't think I'm afraid of you. None of the fans in New York City, none of the fans in the Great Madison Square Garden, the greatest arena in the world. I don't believe that the hammer's gonna back down. I'm gonna stay the champion. The man's a maniac. You understand that? He doesn't care. He's looking at all those fan letters telling him to get back in there and get that intercontinental belt away from that nasty, no good Valentine. But you better think about something. You better think about your family. You better think about that leg. You better think about your wrestling career. Go ahead and wrestle the preliminaries. Be safe. But don't step in the squared circle. The champion, the hammer, who's gonna pound you right down. I'll put the figure for a leg rock on again. I'm ready. The master of the figure four leg rock, Greg Valentine. He is not hopeful. He is certain of it. The figure four, nobody can get out of it. And here is your new champion, Greg Valentine. Valentine, a comment? Look how I'm dressed, Vince McMahon. I am dressed this way because I am celebrating. Maybe celebrating a little early, two days early. I am so convinced 
that I'm going to be the world champion. It's been a long, long time. Two years down the road. A lot of road work, but I am ready. I am ready for Monday night in the garden. The figure four leg lock is ready. The spinning toe hold is ready. You know, a lot of people say, Greg Valentine, you're so, so conceited. You're overconfident. No, that's not the word for it. I am just convinced. I am convinced because I know he knows what I can do and he knows I won't back up. I won't give up. I'll take him to the bitter end. I'll run him from pillar to post. And then I will put that figure four leg lock on him and he will not, he will not be able to get out of it. In fact, I can see the champion right now being carried out in a stretcher, possibly with a broken leg, taking him to the one of the main hospitals in New York City. It's all over for you. Three years you've had that heavy gold. It's too long. You went through too many tough opponents. But now you are ripe. You are ripe for the picking. You understand what I'm talking about? The Grand Wizard knows what I'm talking about. The fans in New York City know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to take that belt. The 10 pounds of gold are going to be around my waist. The world champion, Greg Valentine, you are looking at him right now. A face, a face of determination. 